No. I don't know. I mean, trying to give people like a, a realistic look at what it looks like and the training for like the mindset. Because I think a lot of it can be solved in a conversation. Like I've learned more about myself just in asking myself hard questions. Like how far am I really willing to go? And then when I'm faced with that problem, I've already made the decision, it's so much easier just to react. If I've already, if I've already asked myself a really hard question, you can make it like, I think that's what we do in the training. We shape it in a way that you can make your own determination what you want to do and making your own tactic, the one you're bought to, the one you're married to that's been tried and tested and evaluated, I think it's the best bang for your buck. Like you can get people in the military, you can get people in law enforcement and do some stupid shit, like tactic wise, because you're ordered to, but you can't get them to believe it. They won't do it willingly. They've got to be forced to. When you get them to commit willingly to a tactic, that's how you get a perfection because now they believe it. Like they honestly believe it and they're going to do it at hundred percent of their ability. So that's really what we try to do this week with these guys is they understand the baseline so well and they're current. They train all the fucking time. The team runs really well together, but it's, it's polishing a couple of the, the hard skill sets and really refining some of the why and then connected it to their reality. What's a target set they see? Is it trailers? Is it you know, double wides? What do you always see? And now build a training plan around that and a couple of key points, some hallway stuff they always see to be able to sit down with the entire group, all 20 guys, and look at the same problem set, what do we all think? A couple guys had different schools of thought, and then when we approach it from our perspective, the way we look at it, some of the ways we explain it, it answers itself. Would you do that knowing there was a dude with a pistol in that room? No, then we can't do it. Because that's the only reality we have. It's not Airsoft. It's not some fucking kid who plays Call of Duty. It's not. It's not some Instagram kid. It's not some YouTuber. That's real life, dude. Like, there's a bad dude in that room that's gonna shoot you. He's gonna orphan your fucking kids, make your wife a widow if you don't get that corner. Now when they see that, now they understand it. They realize that time is of the essence and it matters. And they all get motivated. And then you watch it progress. And you're like, holy shit. Like, I get goosebumps thinking about it. When you watch him, like, it'll sink in and everybody starts to switch it on. like. Oh, sh oh, okay, okay. The whole team wants to gear up and do it again. It's like, finally, now they got it. Like, now they've bought in. Like, all that shit they've been doing, it didn't really connect to reality. And Cole will install one thing, and they're like, it's exact. They'll look at their buddy for, like, confirmation. He's like, that's the exact thing I fucking told you. Now the whole group's in, and they're like, okay, okay. Single point down the hallway, okay. Okay, we'll bear, okay. Everybody gets bought in. It's like... Now you believe it. Like you trust that dude to make that decision for you. Before it was just a thought and a theory. You did that motion because that guy told you to do it. You didn't really understand why. You knew how, kinda, but we go so deep into the how and we backfill it with the why that dudes, they, they buy off and they really buy into it. And within three days, man, those dudes are fucking humming now. Like their overall CQB IQ is what we're really harping on. That thing is elevated five or six notches as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. I mean, from where they were day one, even their shooting. Like Snapshot everything. Like, like, even sitting up the threshold work on the flat range to watch them make entry and drive to their corner and take a couple shots on day one, vice 30 minutes into it and watch how far they came. Just how fast the presentations work from the low ready, like they run high ready the whole yeah. time. How fast they're able to throw that on there and body, body, head. It's like, and now they're closing the distance. Mm -hmm. yeah. You didn't even tell them. Like we didn't even get into the brief. We didn't have to brief a moving drill. We're gonna hit from the five, we're gonna walk it all the way down. Like, and now to watch them pick up the speed. Mm -hmm. Like now at full speed. Like, <laughs> the war guy looked at me and I was like, all the way, as fast as you can go. Like send it, like, okay. Boom, and sprinting down that wall, like, whew, fucking motivating, like, to watch that dude, like, really send it, like, that's exactly what that looks like, that's what it has to look like that fast, to be able to get those rounds on target, and make the team believe you can actually pull that shit off, because you're asking for a fucking miracle, really, 
You're asking me to walk in and do some shit and expose myself to 50% of this room and I'm asking you to save me. You've got to be able to teleport. So, yeah, dude, it was fucking awesome coming out here. These dudes were great. Mm -hmm. I had a fucking blast. Texas is always cool. <laughs>